I like the way the light falls through it. Yeah. yeah. Especially when you've got the lights on like this, you can really appreciate it, can't you? This is the first time though that I've actually been in this room with smoke in it and been able to actually appreciate it. Yeah. For what it was. It's what it is. So I got involved with this as an artist initially to do the hoarding for the front of the hotel. Uh, and it's all stemmed from there really. So Andy kind of got me involved with that and then I've been in here detailing this. Um, so I've got loads of other artwork like that on my website. Feel free to have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I literally started with my idea for the girl at the end. She was my first one. I just knew I wanted to do a portrait because I love doing my portraits and I'm also a face painter as well. So I wanted to kind of incorporate a bit of me in it. So I used that on the first panel. I literally, when I did that, I had no idea where the other panels were going. Um, so, but I do portraits a lot, so she took me probably about, I think it must have been about five hours or so, three to five hours. Um, and then it kind of developed from there, because I'd done her and then I thought, I'm going to have her long hair flown across, she could be a bit of a Rapunzel, so we're going to go with the theme of toxic lullabies and stuff. Yeah. Um, so I moved on to my Snow White inspired one, Mirror Mirror on the Wall. That one was a pain. It took forever to do and I don't know why in comparison to the others that it took so long but I think, I can't remember, in total I think it must have been about 30-35 hours I must have spent on it. Um, I would come over on the odd day every week or so and I'd do my little sessions about three or five hours and I've tried to add it up in my head because I knew people would be asking me. I think it's about <laughs> 35 hours in total. Okay. Um, so I did that one. I moved on to the Dreamcatcher panel here wanted to incorporate quite a lot of things that you'd find in nightmares. So we've got like your teeth, so people have the dreams of their teeth falling out, um, dreams of being um, trapped, lost, attacked, snake spiders, all of those. And then I moved on to these two. These two are my two favourite panels and I did these two together and they also came together quite quickly. It must have been about, I don't know, I say about five hours roughly I spent on them kind of with a few breaks in between. I just knew I wanted to get a unicorn in there somewhere. I love unicorns. And so I thought, well, nothing better than a zombie unicorn. And an owl as well. Put the both in together. And yeah, I literally, um, before this, I'd not done a lot of airbrush. I'd just done a few canvases about this high. Um, Andy saw my face painting online and was like, would you consider set painting? I've never done it before. So this is the first thing I'd ever done. Um, and he presented me with these five massive boards and that's the first time I've ever done anything of this scale but I'm really proud of what I've done. Hopefully people seem to like it. We'll go into the corridor and you can, you can see that. Um, we were split up. Yes. Yeah, that was, that was really good. Where were you split up? Here. Yeah, yeah we were split up here. Uh, us three and those two went separately because uh, it was just the five of us who went in and uh, it, it was really weird because we, yeah. we yeah. then take us to our rooms. Yeah. We we then <laughs> met up with you in the final scene, which was really strange. We've been there for ages. We've yeah. been there for so long. Four times. We couldn't get out. Okay, but come and have a look at the, the corridor. I love the corridor. <laughs> yeah, this is where we have as well like the sense kick in. You'll see yeah. in yeah. Like, nocturnal we it's nice. it's um that bloody act that we had like then was in its own building, so it's it's already looks horrible, but this like we were creating a nineteen thirties hotel from just four by eight foot boards, so we tried to make it as a, as immersive as possible. So we've got the same dispensers, we've got three throughout the attraction. Scents so. are really important, aren't they? Because they just give like a definitely. whole feel to it. Yeah, them. definitely. I had to fight really hard for them. They were like, Do you want should we put more skeletons in yeah. the laundry? And I was like no. Uh, <laughs> I have my scent machines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good call. Yeah. But yeah, it's a good view. <laughs> all, the, um, all the portraits are yeah, people who've worked on the attractions. Yeah. I was, on this attraction. That's nice. That's a nice. Yeah. Uh, it was that nice. Yeah. Yeah. So I was, I was scared of that. <laughs> so the panel that you're coming up to on the left now, that's a drop down panel. Um, which, when we run on a shorter amount of um, cast, they can obviously utilise this and get another scary. So in the, in the cannibal oh, bedroom yeah, and bathroom, 
they can actually get a scare in here, get another scare in the bedroom, and then they can move through the cupboard and back into the shower and get another scare in, in the bathroom. So they've effectively got scares in three zones, which is, which is good. And there's lots of spaces like that throughout the attraction. So yeah, come and have a, have a look in here. Yeah, so the, there's active spaces behind all the wardrobes. Um, this, room, this room was, for me, uh, the biggest challenge of this maze because we only had four rolls of wallpaper. <laughs> so we got three strips there, we got a couple of strips over there, and a couple of strips there. There's a few and then, bits that were about yeah, that, long that we well stuck in. And then we came in the day after. Um, the boards that we used were um, from the attraction that was here last year and they'd been painted in gloss so we came in the day after and the wallpaper had all fallen off. <laughs> so it was it was so hard but um, I can be more pleased with how it turned out. Yeah, we just kept building up layer and layer and layer. <laughs> but yeah, so we've got obviously this goes back into the wardrobe. She can get through, that's the drop down panel just in there. Um, Even the drop down panel stained. <laughs> from the side that you can't see. <laughs> Again, I'm sure you can see the bits where we've really got into it as well. Yeah. Like if you look at that wall like... there, for example, you can just see how much fun we were having. Like here, we were literally like lying on the floor and just going. Ah, and this corner, dying. This, this corner was the first one we really yeah. went to town on, wasn't it? And we were like, this is obviously where the cannibal couple kill someone, and then we drag them back this way, and yeah. And the, the blood was pooling on the floor, like the pain, and we had to get it all up there. We spent longer cleaning it than we yeah, did. Yeah, actually, that's true. Room. We spent longer cleaning the floors in this and that room than we did um, painting them. It was quite yeah. funny as well because I did get a bit over the top with my full on yeah. paint splatters. Didn't I'd I? be over there and I'd be yeah. covered in paint by Kate, who was over here doing this one. <laughs> it's like literally I'd do it in here, like, oh, Kate! And then we'd go in there and find a blood splatter in corridor two somewhere. Yeah. So. <laughs> right. Over the wall. Right but yeah, come on, feel free to go on through into corridor two. Where we really start to decorate, the hotel starts to get worse. 